Yo! Welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing a review of the ASL, or the American Sign Language, that's used in the second season of The Dragon Prince. Uh, the character that uses uh, ASL is a general by the name of General Amaya. She's a really great character. I want to highlight some of the signs that she uses, the body language that she does it with, and sort of like, hopefully learn something cool about... Um, uh, my experiences with the deaf communities that um, I'm part of, thanks to... Oh man, this, this intro is taking too long! Let's just get straight to it, dude! Cartoons, man! And uh, sign language! Like, perfect combination! We don't need a preamble! Let's go <laughs> straight into it! Hey, check this out! So, um, the first season of A Dragon Prince was kind of rough in terms of translating the ASL that was in the show because the frame weight was so low! The frame rate was like 12 frames per second. There was so much stuff being missed in the cracks and the details and like the 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 life of the characters being blocked up into like PowerPoint presentations. But now they've clearly, you know, addressed that issue. Um, frame rate's a lot higher. And I think as a result, it's been a lot easier to translate what's going on in the show. So good job guys for making those improvements. Let's work on um, lighting maybe and better contrast between like the hands and like brown hands that are covered with brown gloves behind a brown background. It makes it kind of hard to see. Like in this scene, for example, General Maya is signing to a colleague of hers and she says, I see L's breach General there. And it's kind of hard to see that. I'm not even sure if that's what she said. <laughs> let's let let's write that down though. Let's see. I and if I'm wrong, hey, I'm gonna correct it. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. So I see elf. I think I see elf breach there. And let's go to the next sign. Everywhere, and there's says. been no sign of the elves. I think it's safe to conclude that the outpost on the Zadian side. And we'll do a breakdown secrets. after we get this written down. There, look. Oh, the look, signal. points. The outpost is secure. There. That works. Oh, she's angry. No, there's something wrong. Search yes, group. Already Barely caught half of that. I saw wrong search group. Okay, so we're going to have to see this again. A little slower. A little slower. And... We'll, and Hey, you know, when you're learning ASL, receiving is the hardest part. Working with someone that can sign with you so you can see the signs from a different perspective and different angle. Because you have to know, you have to know the signs from your side, as what, from your perspective, as well as from the perspective of the people that are signing to you. So reception is like one of the unspoken hardest parts of ASL, particularly when it's done at angles that you're not familiar catching signs at, like from the side, like in this angle. Or like over the shoulder and stuff like that. So let's see. Uh, let's back this up. But again, they're doing such a great job. This is actually this is actual ASL. It's great. So she says, "I saw, I saw, or I see." Uh, elf. So she's doing this this so she's going to her ears and she's making it pointy the clearer way of signing elf is like this like elves elves but she's really saying pointy ear and so instead of elf she's saying pointy ear but i'm interpreting it as elf here because she's talking about elves hey this show's got elves in it yo i see elf let's see what she say next breach she's forming the breach which is that you know niagara falls of lava Gen there there this it here there right <laughs> that <laughs> she's indexing so it's a combination of indexing and signing oh there's an, there's some more um there's something or there something you got to catch those signs there something wrong so there's something wrong how should she make the rest of the sentence oh she does it it's a brand new sentence 
cool. There's something wrong. This sign means setup. So think of it as like, hey, you're building a tent. You set up a tent. You're building something. You set up something. Um, so it's related to like other signs that are about making something or forming something. So I established. I set up something. Like I made. I made. I I hardcore made something. So like make make this or set up, create. You know, uh, generate, <laughs> make, set up a search. Set up a search group. I think she's what she's saying. So set up, set up. Let's let's delete this, and we'll get into the specifics. Set up, set up, search, uh, search group. This is the sign for group. Just uh, you're forming a mass around um, the group itself. So let's like search group. If you want to be very specific, and I prefer this way, you make a G and you make another G. This is the G letter. And you make the group sign with the G's. So this is a group. Um, if you make a P and you make the group sign, it becomes party. <laughs> T, team. F, family. You're, you're classifying groups based on the letter that they start with. So like family, team, party, uh, group. Or you can do group. General sense. So set up a search group. And I think she does it this way. Um, again, again, no, there's something wrong. Set up a search, uh, I'm sorry, S set up a search group. And then she said before that, um, I see elf breach there, which is probably like, hey, I see some elves over there by the, over by the breach. Um, and the cap and the other guy was like, no, 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 there was nothing over there. And she was like, no, 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 <laughs> or just like one big no. There's something wrong. Yeah, there's something wrong. Uh, set up a search group. All right, let's move forward. Search group. Yeah, it's very understated the way how she did group Already but you can see that she's party. signing it and then dropping her hands all right so, so they go over to the breach your signal was late um where is everyone this is the yes. search group my apologies sir. here's the, the guy the that they and I my cue. met the next signal over exactly off the other side the he's like hey there man there's no problems here nothing to worry about ha 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 ha, ha. don't mind me sweating <laughs> and meanwhile he's like hey behind me behind me there's a problem so when i saw this i thought this was originally danger dangerous like this but i think it could be actually a combination between danger and like behind me behind me i think either works perfectly fine so danger oh Yo, no Oh no! There we go. I so think it's safe to conclude that the outpost on the Zadian side remains right. secret. So danger there. looks Look, like this. The signal. Right. The outpost More is secure. Something is. Right. Behind me! <laughs> you don't need a, you don't need an explanation for that. <laughs> okay. So yes, General. Let's look at danger again. Um, yeah. Signal was late. He's like, behind me, behind me, behind me, behind me. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. He's in dangerous situations. So, is it dangerous? Is it behind me? I think it could be both. It, it works either way. The scene works either way. It's just one of those perfect moments. Behind me. Okay, let's move on. What's next? Time? Okay, she's fighting the elf ladies that are there, and she's like, come at me, bro. But the thing is, that is not an ASL sign. This is not an ASL sign. Actually, this is an ASL sign, but it doesn't mean come over here. This is a sign for come over here. Like, come fight me, bro? No. It's like, come over here, man. Come fight me. Come over here. <laughs> you, probably, you probably say it with a more angry expression, but like, you get over here, right? But, or like, get over here, maybe. I don't know. But like, get over Come over here. This is the polite way of saying come over or like come here. But uh, this in ASL actually means 15. 
uh, the reason why it means 15 and this leads to a lot of confusion for me particularly but a lot of numbers get abbreviated in ASL with the way how you express numbers so like this is 10 and this is 5 and instead of doing 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 10 5 15 15 15 15 it became that it evolved over time um, words phrases numbers a lot of stuff in ASL gets abbreviated so that it can be signed more efficiently and that's called economy of movement so this actually means 15 because you get the 10 and you get the 5 in like one quick sign right and when I see this in like the fight scene it's more of like um, a non ASL use of the term of like hey man come fight me but I just want let I just want to let you know that that actually is a sign in ASL it just means something completely different interesting facts brought to you by me <laughs> 15 or maybe she's like dude I could fight 15 of you I'm not even getting started yet. is that the best you got True. there better be 14 right more of you and get right. the job done here's a confusing one actually it's not that confusing it's just an adult joke it's just signed very um, subtly so uh, let's explain the joke in the most clinical sense so that way we can save some time Harrow King Harrow, excuse me, excuse me, uh, my man, uh, King Harrow makes a sign the right that looks like, get the job done. He, you know, when, when other time do you see someone do this, right? Oh, no, I don't mean it like that. I meant more like proctor exam. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, excuse me. Anyway, we're going through the same steps Amaya went through. So like, um, imagine he's sticking his fingers up someone's bum. That's what's going on here. It looks like that. And look at the expression on General Maya's face when she sees that. She's like, oh my gosh. Because <laughs> she's like tuned into like the signing. So she's just like, oh my gosh, that sign looked like, whoo, but now I get it. <laughs> that's So that's basically what she says in the scene. So, so right now she's just like, oh my gosh, hey. Oh, again, another perfect opportunity. Uh, remember what I was saying about economy of movement before? Um, General Maya is going H A. H A H A H A H A H A H A H A ha 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 a bit of a tangent but this also means 13 because you have the 10 3 10 3 10 3 10 3 10 3 13 3 10 13 13 13 13 13 so like I said um, economy of movement sometimes leads to some confusing moments but in the context of the situation she's clearly making what she thinks light of the situation so she's saying ha 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 uh let her continue. Hey man, that sign. <laughs> that sign. That sign. Was plus <laughs> that face is great. Um that sign. Uh so this sign means like okay, well, no. Nah. That sign plus that face means like okay, well, there you go. Or generally, this is like, oh, I get it. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or like, oh, I see now. Yeah? I'm like, oh, I see. Like, okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, I see. Or like, well, okay. Well, okay. I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to sell that without sarcasm. But you need the... Okay, so basically she's like, King Harrow looks like he's sticking his fingers up a bum. Ha 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 ha. That sign, at first I was like, what am I looking at? But now I get it, right? <laughs> That's basically what she's saying. So again, uh, King Harrow looked like he was doing something weird. I saw that sign, and I was like, oh my gosh. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I finally get it. But oh, whoa. That's the joke. It's not easy to translate into English. But I get it. <laughs> It's what? funny. Everyone can laugh at that. Nothing. <laughs> A little adult humor in my cartoons. It's great. Again, nice slow. Yo. Ha 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 ha. That sign was like. Hmm, well, I don't know. The face really sells the joke, if that makes any sense. Like, if she was just like, that sign, oh, I see. 
Uh, it doesn't belie the impression that she had a completely different impression of what that sign originally meant. So with that face combined, it adds the dynamic of like, well, at first I was like, oh, but now I get it. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Uh, there she's just miming throwing um, spears. I don't know if that... So you can sign throw like this, but I think she's just Amaya, sucking it out. Oh. You did it! Nice! So when I do... So I've taught my cat some tricks. And I use ASL sometimes to like teach him to sit, you know, like roll over and all that stuff. Uh, he, when he does tricks that are good, I do this. It's like, hey, good job. Wonderful. That's what the sign means. Like, great. Good job. Wonderful. Um, if you're saying good job, it could be a little different. So like good J O O B. But again, you have economy of movement. So sometimes you'll see good job, like good job so J you just close the fist and you pop out the B because as you make the J you already make an O kinda if you just bring your pinky pinky down and then you flick your fingers up and you make that B so good job right um and then you can say like hey wonderful good job hey good job good job you so she's doing the same thing too she's like hey we did it good job we did it I love that. That's great. Also, that bow staff must be the lightest thing in the world if she can do it. <laughs> Physics! Physics, Tyrone! Look at that! Good job! Look how much that bow staff is wavering. That's hard. That's hard to do. That's good for strength. Um, sister. She says sister. Hard to see sister with black gloves on black fabric, but we talked about that already. I'm not gonna dwell. It's still accurate. How my... Ooh, I didn't get that. How, I think she said face. So I think she's like, how's my face, right? Amaya! Give me a second. How face, she did say how face. Like. Look. I guess it's a question. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get these words out. I'm like, okay, I got the words, but how do I even make that into a sentence? Okay, and I don't want to restart the video, so let's how how about this? How? Let me make sure that was the end of it. Yep, that was the end of it. So she says how, and there's different ways you can say how. I like this way how, but you can also use one hand. How face like look? What's my how's my face look? How's my face look like? Like these, these words don't make, it's not a good translation to English, but if you were like, in English you'd be like, what's my face look like, right? What's my face look like? Or like, um, how's my face? It's a combination between those two in English. Um, and if I was signing this myself, I would probably swap look and like so that you get look like so how face look like or uh look like right that way it's just easier for me in my head to say it so that i get interpreted as well if i was signing to someone who spoke english who could talk i would sign it like how face look like and i don't even know if i was signing to someone that's deaf if i'd sign it how face like look that's just an awkward way of signing it. <laughs> Honest with you. It's an awkward sentence. It's just a weird, awkward sentence. But generally it means, uh, uh, as far as like, hey, you actually used real signs. You, you put them together. I'm fine with it. What's my face look like, man? I, I'm, I, just, I just survived a huge battle. I got a giant head trauma, facial scar. My words might be jumbled up a little bit. Just tell me how they look. Like I get that. I get that. So we'll give we'll give it a pass. Not great. <laughs> Straight to the point. So not same thing as I showed before. This is wonderful. There's a lot of different ways of showing wonderful. I like, hey, good job. Good job. Wonderful. Great. You can do this as well. It's like, great. Great. So she's saying, not great. You could also do that with just your face. It's like, ugh, not great. You don't even have to say not. So like, I think she said, and I'm gonna go back and verify, but like, 
Uh, not great. Actually, I think there were some other signs in there too. Let me, let me just double check. So my eyes all jumbled up. She's like, face how look like me, bro. Face. <laughs> face look like. Ah, there is the one little thing. She's like, eh. <laughs> eh. Not great. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not great. Uh, not great. She says she signs that out. It's wonderful. Not great. You should see other. See other. This means other. Other or else. Else. Um. See other. I, I don't know what that means. Let's go back. Let's go back and double check. How face like look. Uh, not great. Hey, but you should see other. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see that one more time. Eh, not great. So what's hard is I can't tell if I'm missing something because it's so dark. So like her hands are so dark and, and this is the same color as that. It's just weird. It's hard to see. But I think she says boy. I'm going to assume she says boy. And she meant like you should see the other boys maybe. I don't know. You should see the other boy. Uh, not great. Let's see. I'm trying to translate this. You should see other boy. Eh. Eh, not great. But you should see the other boy. You should see the other boy. Other boy. Boys? Maybe? I think that's what she's saying. So Amaya's like, how's my face? And she's like, oh, it's not great. But you should uh, you should go see the other boys. And I think the scene just got cut off too, a little bit too short. Plus the contrast wasn't really great. But again, if I were going to sign this, I'd say like, oh my gosh. Uh, my face looks like. <laughs> and her sister would go like like that and then she but it's like hey 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 but relax you know relax uh you sh you uh should see the other boys because they all look like crap too all right so it's all good i think she's trying to make her feel better see other boy see other boy yeah, I think it's like, you should see everybody else. Like, don't worry about you. Everyone else looks like <laughs> a piece of work, too. It's all good. Okay, let's move on to Time the short. last There's couple of scenes. We're almost done with this video. Oh! Look how light that bow staff suddenly got. Anyway. Yeah, if they just made the hands a lighter color than the on the outfit like a white or like gold like these ribbons here it'd be way easier to pick out what they're saying as they're saying it like the first time through you know all right let's see what do, what do we got what do we got last couple of scenes you don't, you don't need, need to whisper, whisper i'm, I'm deaf, deaf. Dude. It'll be okay. <laughs> Once I rest a bit, I can make it back by myself. We won't leave you, you here alone. I'll stay with the mind. You we'll don't make it home need together. Whisper, Everyone else should I take death. the heart back. Dude. They agree. Time is of the essence. No. That's but pretty Harold, good translation, I think. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's make sure we got it right. Okay. So you don't need to. Don't Let's talk about that real to. quick. Um this sign while it means need could also mean should you must you ought to and it's really just in the face and the context of how you use it so like you don't need to 
or you don't oh and I'll and I'll we'll we'll do one one thing at a time but like the context of the situation determines whether or not um, it's like a need or should this is can which is a completely different word that or used in a completely different context but need should must ought it's like this I need to do this you need to do this so it's directional she needs to do this he needs to do that I need to do this but you need to do blah 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 if you use your face at the same time too you can make it from a need to don't need so you can even be like you don't need to do that it's like do I need this it's like you don't need it like right um but I think she says don't need so you don't need or and she kind of does it kind of like in a sly way so it's like you don't need it you don't need it <laughs> You don't need to, and that's how she's phrasing it. So don't, not, you don't need to. And the way, and so this is where, this is why I'm bringing this up. It's a little redundant, right? Because she's, she's already directing need to the person, but she starts off the sentence with you. So you don't need, you don't need, it's, it's a silly thing. So, as a summary, you could actually say you don't need all in just one gesture or one sign. It's like, you don't need to. Like, you don't need to. like right? That means you don't need to blah, 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 blah. You don't have to sign it like, you don't need to. But you could if you wanted to. You could do either one. It's fine. But I know it, uh, Amaya uses a lot of abbreviated phrases. And she speaks in a sort of like stoic laconic sort of way so it's interesting that she's talking like this now I'm thinking either one they got a different person to do the signing for this season and that's why a lot of the signs why there's probably not as many signs in this season compared to the first or uh, the signs come out a little differently like in some cases with like what's my face look like it looks like they're a little bit off like this thing going on here like that's not typically ASL sign but um the other thing the other thing is maybe it's just a circumstance where Amaya's let her guard down now that they've won the battle so she's a little bit more verbose with the way how she speaks so it could just be a character dynamic as well too um it's kind of interesting but yeah you don't need to whisper whispers like this so like yelling yell like Ugh! right talk hey i'm talking i'm talking i'm a talking person talk talk whisper so you don't need to whisper right i'm Viren. deaf i'm deaf dude <laughs> she's like i'm deaf come on <laughs> It'll be okay. once okay. i rest oh it, she's still signing give me a second i'm deaf by the way general Maya is deaf all the people all the snowflakes on tumblr who are like She's not deaf. She just likes talking with her hands. She's a powerful lady. Dude, you can be deaf and be a powerful person at the same time, too. That's why I like the show. That's the whole point of the show. Let's have a fun time, guys. Let's appreciate the fact that we actually have a, a great representation of a deaf character on TV or Netflix, whatever you want to call it. All right. So it'll be okay. She signs okay. We Once see the back I rest half a bit, I can rest. make it back by myself. Oh, my gosh. There are a lot of signs there. So I will rest. B A C K. And that's all I caught. So let's get that. So I think we saw the last part of OK. OK. Rest. B A C K. Let's back up. I'm deaf. It'll She's like, be oh, I didn't okay. know she was deaf. Once I rest, rest a bit, I can make it back by myself. Oh, man. We got to slow that down just a little bit. One more time. Ah. I think she says good back myself or something like that. It'll be okay. Okay. Rest. Once I rest. Oh, okay. Rest bit. Rest a little. Rest a little. 
just a bit. Good. Good. I can make it back. Back by my myself. 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 Okay. Rest a little. Good. Back myself. So she's like, I'm okay. I'll rest a little. Well. Oh, my bad. Sorry, you guys can't see that. Uh, she says, myself. I'm okay. I'll rest a little. Head back when I'm good. Good. <laughs> back. It's so hard to translate these things now. Then back. Let's see. So she's like, let's let's break down the signs. Okay. Rest a little. Then when I'm good, I'll go B A C K myself. Uh so like let me make sure I just got that right. Jeff. He's all like, I didn't know she was deaf. Did everybody else know that? Be oh, okay. Okay. Rest Once I rest a, a little, bit, I can make it back, back by myself. I'll go back by myself. We won't leave sure. you. I think it's missing some words there, but that's fine. They got a lot of signs in there. So, oh my gosh. Which put, if I, if I critique it, I feel like I have to like explain what I would do differently. But to be honest with you, I think they did a really good job here. So I would still say, um, um, like, it's okay. Um, I'm going to rest or I can say rest. This means like sleep or nap. I'm going to rest a little and uh um i'll be good i will be good then i'll go b a c k this weird phrase like how would i go back i'd return i'd go back myself or um i'll follow you guys after i rest or something like that Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways you could say that. Okay, rest a little. Good. Back myself. B a c k myself. See, it's the b a c k that's kind of throwing me off. Cause she could just say return or go back home. You know what? I'm gonna call it. It's all right. It's good. It works. <laughs> It works, but it's just an awkward way of saying it. I do wonder if they got a different um, sign language person for this season compared to what they had in the first one. Or if they had like a pair of sign language people in the first season, did they rely on one more than the other? Because the phrasing is a little jumbled, right? And a little bit more... I'll explain it like this. Um... There are a lot of different kind of deaf communities and they're characterized by the people that are inside of them. Um, sometimes you have people that have family members that aren't deaf. And so the way how they sign is more reliant on how we speak as English speakers. So they may sign in a format that's very consistent with English grammar, or they may sign um, words that are really, really short because they may not know the the alternatives that are standard in ASL, like back versus return, or like go home or stuff like that. And like, okay, B A C K, like that's a that is very different from how General Maya was signing in the first season. And General Maya's signing in like first season is just like three words. You know what I'm saying? Very stylish signs too. And like on the borderline from like stylish to like very like straightforward. And in this season, it's been a little bit more like different. It's hard. It's, it's, it's more as if it's affected by working around people that use like exact signing spelling or signing exact English signing or um, that the words got mixed up a little bit sometimes too. But you know what? I had a good time. I think more or less that's the end and 
just putting it all in context is a little One weird. <laughs> I think the signing is a little different from this season compared to the last season. I still think it's great quality, but it feels as if it's coming from a different person. And I'm saying that only from the sense of how iconic she was in the first season, like like straightforward attitude, body language, I'm ready to go. But here it's different. It could just be the fact that, you know, it's a younger general Maya. Maybe she's a little bit more loosey goosey with the way how she's signing. And if that's the case, man, that's really well done. Cause it does feel like she's a different person in in this in this season. So that's kind of cool. It's cool that just from the way how someone stylistically chooses how to sign that they would come up with, you know, uh, with almost a different personality. And she does not seem as stern and as serious in this flashback as she does, you know, in the future, in the present tense of when the show is taking place. So like flashback Amaya definitely does joke around more, definitely does speak uh, with a lilt that's a little bit like, Wow, why would you put them in this? Why would you use these words in this order? But it's still sort of like the keyword pigeon sort of signing that I've grown accustomed with her using. So I think it works. It works. It's fine. And yeah, we had some really good times, at least in this video, or at least in this season, with um, uh, the jokes that she was using, the signs that she was interpreting. But there were some weird things going on. Like this thing really threw me off. I'm just like, what? Like, I get it. You're cool. But like, what? And then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm happy. I want to see more of the character. That's basically what I'm saying. Let's see more dynamics of how she signs and get a really cool impression of who she is as a person and a a as a character as well um, and spend more time. Anyway, that's it, guys. I had a fun time. I hope you guys had a fun time, too. I hope the lighting was a little nice. Uh... You can see more stuff and more uh, summaries of the ASL that's used in the show. But what I would really recommend is that you check out the show itself uh, on Netflix. Uh, I think the third season is dropping later this year, maybe around September. And I will be there and I'll be translating because uh, I love the show. All right. See you guys later. Bye.